Hi guys, welcome to Pemby's Gaming World. This is a, an AMD Gaming Evolve Raptor update uh, video to show you that this this software has potential, I think, to be, well, for AMD users, basically, you know, as good as Shadowplay is for NVIDIA, you know what I mean? There's still faults with it, it still doesn't record certain games. So I go to my library here, you notice the games about Field 4. Now, some of them are not optimised, but... I'd, it's like Crisis 2, well Crisis 3 in particular, you can see it's not optimised for for, for quality because I find that uh, I prefer it with a few settings off I and mean, that's just me. But anyway, some of these games, well that that works, that, that well that's the same thing, Far Cry 4, I've not tried that yet, um, Battlefield 3 that works, Crisis 3 of course, Dino D-Day that works. Planet Side 2 doesn't work last time I tried. It won't record that. In an isolation, it records it no problem. Crisis 2. I've not tried EYE, but it's just like... Um, it's not a game that I'm really into anyway. Um, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. It records that perfectly, which you're going to see. It won't record Pro Evolution Soccer 2015. Now, I've installed the, the patches that enable you to play with all the authentic kits with the Premier League and whatnot. Um, and the sweet effects that enabled graphics in that as well. So it, look, it looks really good. But hey, this this Gaming Evolve software will not record it. Not on my system. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've got a similar kind of problem. It might be, you know, a, a multitude of different things that stop games from either recording or not recording with this software. Resident Evil HD... Now that does record. Right, now I'll give you a few examples. I'll show, it, show you a few examples because basically the way this records, it records absolutely perfect. Um, that's based on this setting, custom, 50 megabytes a second, 60 frames a second, 1080p. Now why I, I max it out there is because when you're putting your raw file that this records through Sony Vegas, you're adding whatever color corrections and whatever sharpening effects you want to add or you might add anything but if you want to lower the file size, file size but uh, don't uh, lose any quality there are ways of doing that which I'm going to go into but um, always my rule is this always make sure your original recording is bang on as perfect as you can get it um, let's find the folder where are we AMD recordings that's the one now you can see we've got Alien Isolation, Crisis 2, Mortal Kombat, Resident Evil HD. Let's have a look at let's have a look at uh, Resident Evil. As you can see, it looks pretty, pretty good. Let's come out of that. Um, Resident Evil. So we'll look at Mortal Kombat. Let's kick the shit out of Shao Kahn. Maybe not. <laughs> Will we have him? Will we get him? There we go. Get on, son. Get on. <laughs> uh, it's about to explode, but you get the picture. The, 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 the qual recording quality. I mean, these are raw, raw files. You know, the, the recording quality is excellent. And this one especially. Look at this. Oh shit! They're in the lab. Get in there before they find anything. I'm counting on you, Prophet.
There we go. <laughs> I could watch these videos for ages, me, and I just get a bit carried away. But you, you get the picture, just how how um, good it records. And finally, let's have a look. The latest. This uh, this actually is the latest DLC for Alien Isolation. Now I think you can agree you can't really get much better than that uh, when it comes to recording. And what you're actually watching now is an ABCHD file uploaded to YouTube. Right? So you're going to get a degradation in quality. But um, in order to put those files through Sony Vegas, this is what I do. Right, so, um, let's... That's Ashley. Yeah. Let's take that into Sony Vegas. Open with Vegas Pro. Uh, yes. Let's have a look. Now, you get the file in there, and the things you got to do first is go to Disable Resample. Now, go to your properties. Look at your properties now. It's 1920 by 1080 non-progressive scan now that 56.153 is the what that how that files recorded by AMD's Raptor Evolve so I keep it the same because otherwise when I play that back it won't be if I change that to 59.940 or 60 frames a second it might be a bit jerky uh, Aces now this Aces thing does my head in off I don't want it on get off okay none of these boxes are checked Interpolate fields, I always have that. Now, what all I add to the video is this. Where are we going? Where are we going? Color corrector, add. Sharpen, add. OK. 1.1, 1 .1, which is all it is, is a, just a basic color correction with 1.1 1 .1 sharpening as opposed to 1.000. Sharpen. Oh, sorry, the colour corrector. Sharpen is my new, which I call it, 0.1. That's all that is. And when I come to render it, I render it... Um, no, sorry, press the wrong button. When I come to render it... Now, that's the best quality, WMV, by far. I used to swear by... Which one is it now? The main concept, ABC stroke AAC MP4. But it... I find it goes all pixelated and horrible a lot of the time. Let's just find my Sony. This is the one I use, Sony AVC. Go down. I have a preset. My AVC HD setting for YT, I mean YouTube. Now, if you see the test, the template. 192 kilobytes a second audio. You can mess about the audio. It's not. You don't really notice much difference. Especially with low frequency sounds, but the video formats AVCHD or MT2S 1920 by 1080 high, of course, but the, you, you can't change them. But you know, you're going to render it out as around about the same frame rate, and it's around about 20 million kilobytes a second or bytes a second, might we call it. Render using GPU if available, that's only if you've obviously got a decent graphics card. Project, make sure it's set to best. Okay, and when I render that out, it looks like this. Let's shut that up. And uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Rendered videos. This is what this is. Um, where have we got now? Untitled. That's the one there. It's an ABCHD file, but look at the quality of this. This is that same file rendered. It, how I've just shown you. So this is a continuation of what you've seen before. But I guarantee you this you won't see much better than this. To me video game graphics, let's turn it down a little bit more. Video game graphics are, are, are there, are, are like it's, it's like basically eye candy. 
There's no point looking at pixelated, colourless, you know, images on your screen. I'm just a graphics fan. That's why I strive to achieve the best recordings I can get, you know. I mean, I'm making this video up as I go along, but I'm sure you, you know, you can appreciate what I'm talking about and uh, the fact that this software, once they've got the full working version and it works perfectly with everything out there, it's you've got a, a piece of software that is is going to make all commercial screen recorders obsolete. You know, you'll have this for the AMD users and you'll have Shadowplay for NVIDIA. And there's no point in anybody buying recording software again oh shut up Lockhart <laughs> anyway that's Raptors Gaming Evolve and it, it actually does work really well for most games but like if there's any other games out there that you find it doesn't work with then let me know but as I say we go back to the library I know for a fact Pro Evolution Soccer it won't record it and it's a shame because it, it looks beautiful but it's still I'm still able to record it using the screen recorder I'm using now, this one. This is a Marillis Action, which I thoroughly recommend. And this is what I do use a lot of the time until they patch this and get it working 100%. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the quality and uh, go with uh, a lot of my render settings. And I guarantee you this, your videos will look like they've had a clean polish, you know. They've had, just look like they've been turtle waxed. <laughs> Anyway, I'm Pemby66. I go on too much about this kind of shit. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.